Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the new Beta FPV Express LRS Micro TX model. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, measure its output power, show you how to set it up and also announce a giveaway kindly sponsored by Beta FPV. First of all, just like the Beta FPV Express LRS Lano TX model, the Micro TX model is available in three versions. 2.4 GHz, which is the version that I've got, 915 MHz, and 868 MHz. In addition to this omnidirectional antenna, you're also getting a directional antenna and also a GST to servo connector, which will enable you to use the Micro TX model with radio controllers that support TBS Crossfire protocol, but don't feature a standard GR model bay. In terms of features and specs, the Micro TX model is using an SMA antenna connector. It supports at least currently a maximum output power of 500 milliwatts, which is identical to the maximum output power of the Nano TX model. It uses a USB Type-C connector, which will enable you to update the firmware of the model, but pay attention that due to an error in the design, at least in my opinion, not all the USB Type-C cables are going to work, so you'll need to use a slim cable or use this type of an extension adapter. In order to preserve the battery life of your radio controller, the Micro TX model can be powered externally using this XT30 battery connector. Pay attention that the supported input voltage is between 5 to 12 volts, so according to Beta FPV, you should not use 3S batteries, as if the voltage is going to exceed 12 volts, it is going to damage the model. In addition, the model features a built-in fan which is going to automatically turn on once the output power is going to be set to 250 milliwatts or above. It also features adjustable LEDs which you can set using this button and the OLED screen. In order to unlock the screen, you'll need to long press the button and unintuitively the up, down, right and left buttons are not working. So in order to switch between the options, you will need to short press this button and in order to change a setting, you will need to long press it. So for example, right now the RGB color is set to cyan, so in order to change it, I can long press the button, and now for example it is set to white, now to aqua, red, green, pink, yellow, purple, and back to cyan. All the other settings can be configured traditionally using the Express LRS Lua script and the major advantage of having the option of configuring the radio model externally is that it will enable you to use it with non-open TX radio controllers such as the WFLY ET16S. This radio controller for example supports the TBS Crossfire protocol and features a standard GR model bay but since it doesn't support Lua scripts you won't be able to configure the radio model through the menus of the radio controller. So having the option to configure the radio model externally solves this problem. In order to update and configure the Micro TX model, since the OLED screen is not supported yet by the official release, you will need to head over to the BitFPV GitHub Express LRS page and download the source code from the master BitFPV OLED menu branch. Then, after downloading the file, extract its content to a folder, make sure that you are using the latest version of the Express LRS configurator, which is currently version 1.2.3, head over to the local tab, select the SRC folder which is located inside the contents of the files that you just extracted, under target the device category should be set to either BDFV 2.4 GHz or BDFV 900 MHz depending on the version that you've got and the device should be set to TX Micro. After setting your desired device options, you'll be able to either build a new firmware version and then flash it over Wi-Fi to the model or connect the model directly to your computer which in my opinion is the easiest option and just build and flash the new firmware. Now in case you flashed the official firmware for some reason, the only problem that is going to occur is that the OLED screen is not going to work and this process is reversible so all you have to do is to flash the firmware that I just showed you and then the OLED screen is going to start working again. 
Now let's quickly measure the output power of the micro module. When it is set to 25 milliwatts, I'm getting about 36 milliwatts. On 50 milliwatts, around 54 milliwatts. On 100 milliwatts, about 120 milliwatts. At 250 milliwatts, about 280 milliwatts. And by the way, as you can probably hear, now the fan is working. And finally, when the output power is set to 500 milliwatts, I'm getting about 580 milliwatts. I would like to remind you that in order to avoid damaging the radio module, you need to connect an antenna to it when it is turned on and connected to a radio controller. And even though the output power is going to be turned off when it is powered on without being connected to a radio controller, in order to stay on the safe side, I recommend to keep the antenna always connected. As for the giveaway, the prize is either the Beta FPV Express LRS Micro or Nano TX, which is going to be directly sent to the winner by Beta FPV, which again are kindly sponsoring this giveaway. So thank you, Beta FPV. And in order to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is to make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel, leave a single comment down below that contains the giveaway code that you can currently see on the screen, and make sure that you hit the notifications bell, so in case you are the winner, you are not going to miss out. I'm going to announce the winner in the next two weeks or so, so stay tuned. I would like to remind you that all Patreon supporters on level supporter and above are automatically included in the giveaway, so in case you would like to increase your chances of winning this giveaway and the next ones, and also further support my channel, check out my Patreon page, which is linked down below. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel in case you are not already subscribed. I wish you all happy flying, and see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.